Hey guys, Dice Boy 22 Gundam Shelf Update. Um, and you might notice, yes, I have the SD Astray Red Frame, and um, he's more in the front now. And back there is another unpainted Hero Yui, which I will show you in a second. But after I want to go over <clears throat> the rest of this stuff, um, him I pretty much painted a lot. Um, instead of using the stickers, I painted the front skirt. Um, he's still the same. Um, might do a little lining on him on the wings. Um, strike. I actually painted the inner frame and stuff like that because um, Robert184 inspired me to because he is right some of the gold on some of the strike kits do look kinda sloppy and then the God Gundams for me are pretty much finished and um she's on her feet because I gave the strike her the SD strike her action base and then Shining Collection, pretty much the same. Might get the model kit and replacement of the figure. Now to show you something special. Um, I got the um, 1 to 100 high grade. Yes, I said high grade. And to prove this is a high grade, I'll even show you guys the box. This thing right here. And high grade. So we don't have any confusion with no grades and stuff like that, like I've had with the Strike Freedom. Um, anyway, a very special message to, um, known as Rhino Bob, or his name in reality, Rob Snodgrass. Now, Rob, this is what a Wing Zero looks like when you put effort into it. See, so it did all the panel lining here. Did lining on on the knees and everything. I put detail into the face, into the into the side wings. Had to paint the gun. <clears throat> this is what a wing zero looks like when you put effort into it. Not just freaking assemble it and then say I'm done and then just and then just throw it in into a closet somewhere. Yes, everybody, every Gumpla modeler who's watching this, <clears throat> I have a friend um, who got out of Gumpla because he thought, oh, I'm too old for this. This is for children. I'm going to leave it in my childhood or some crap like that. So, you know what he does with this Gunpla? He just throws them all into a tiny plastic container like this one just stockpiles them all together and just throws them in a, in a closet like this to me that that is unbelievable if you guys see him kick him in the shins that, that is like gunpla cruelty it, it is not right in my opinion that is not right at all it is cruelty to Gunpla. <clears throat> if you want to know who Rob Stargrass is, so you can kick him in the shin, look up his Facebook page. You'll see a picture of him, you'll see a picture of his friends, blah blah blah. Yeah, you pretty much get the gist. But, other than that, um, yeah. Rob, this is what a Wing Zero looks like when you put effort into it. And, um, let me see here, projects I'm working on. For a stray red frame, um, I will go out and show you real quick. Now, as you're all aware, the <clears throat> the SD does not come with the, um, with the katana that Loe has in the manga. So I've actually been trying to work on something. This little thing right here, um, 
I am modeling it after the Tetsaiga and Inuyasha. But today I'm probably going to be buying some some wood or something like that. Like some modeling wood or something just to coat it over this foil cuz that foil looks really ugly. And buy some different material for the um for the flaming fur part of the Tetsaiga. But I do like the handle. It fits him perfectly. And um, what I actually plan to do with the shield is that um, possibly um, toothpicks, something like that, buy some putty, modeling putty, paint this gray, and um probably at least get um, three of them at least and put and attach it onto the back of the shield so the shield will look more like a like a claw or something to represent any Yasha's claw attacks because I'm going to make this in kind kind of a Inuyasha based mobile armor <clears throat> Anyway, the, this is Diceboy22. That's been my update. Look forward to the um, upgraded Astray, or as I like to call it, um, Red Frame Astray Inuyasha Custom. Um, this has been Diceboy22, and I'll see you guys later.